if you are here to save money you couldn't be in a better place. There is a first part to this series as well. I'm gonna put the link in the description for that video. Hi guys, this is Miss Doctor and welcome to the second part of the money saving video. But before we dive into this video, please make sure you subscribe and also give me a like and um, like and a thumbs up yeah that's the same thing money saving so there are so many ways to save money but in this video i'm going to give you a few tips and tricks and of course you can always contribute in the comment section with your type of money saving tips and let's have a little bit of a discussion going on in down there and see how we can help each other create a community and and save a lot of money if you have a gym membership, memberships and subscriptions, or you have a Netflix subscription or Amazon Prime subscription that you don't actually use or you don't get a good value for your money because you don't use it enough, then maybe it's time to get rid of it. So that is one way to save money, basically have a, a money clear out, a money makeover on your account and see what are the subscriptions that you don't even use. So there is absolutely no point to pay for them. A lot of the times, so many good stuff is actually free. You don't have to break the bank. You don't always have to go to an event. You don't always have to buy something to feel good. There's so many cheap and, and free stuff that you can do with your family and have just as much fun. Stop buying on sales, especially just because it's on sale. There are three main expenses in, in someone's life. It's mainly the food, the housing, the transportation. So these are the different areas where you can work. In the food area, first of all, try and go to a very budget-friendly shop. With food shopping, you can save a lot of money. So what happens uh, when you go to the shop too often is that you're gonna see some bargains and you're gonna see, oh, this and that and what did I even come for anyway so you can just get carried away and guarantee you that you're gonna you're gonna actually spend more if you go to the shop more often on that note as well when you go to budget shops and also you just only go like once a week and then twice a week make sure you don't have you you have your list if you organize your week and you know exactly what kind of food you want to make you can create a list and you really need to stick to it because you know all these sales they all come along and a lot of the times people make the mistake of buying sales items just because they couldn't let it go because it was such a good deal but then unfortunately i'm a big charity shop goer and i can see so many of these great deals being in charity shops even with the tags on in the morning you you knew that you're gonna go to the shop and you're gonna buy that item that's a different story because you got a, a great bargain for an actual need but just buying a sales item because it's on sale and it's such a great deal don't do it it's just it's just brainwashing basically be in control of your money try and eliminate impulse buying and don't buy on sale just because it's on sale Go camping and hiking instead of going to expensive hotels. A lot of the times these adventurous camping holidays, they actually have so much fun because you know anything can happen and you kind of like need to get your survival skills out. Yeah, I, I would even say staying in a hotel could get quite boring if that's what you do all the time. So try and come up with different ideas. Try, try and do a bit of a brainstorming at home with your family and come up with different ideas how you can reduce the cost have just as adventurous holiday as you would have otherwise and you might want to get rid of the hotel options as well you might have heard in the previous video that I said secondhand clothes shoppings are just as good and charity shops they also offer branded goods as well but another good option is to actually ask yourself if you even need it if you organize your wardrobe before you go clothes shopping then you might find that you have almost the exact same item already sitting in your wardrobe make sure that you are aware of what you already have and you might realize that you don't need much more and you already have all the items that you were gonna go out shopping for so organize your wardrobe organizing 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 is itself amazing when it comes to money saving turn 
of the credit card payment of autofill on certain websites. You know, if you might have set it up in the past, when you get to the checkout on a website, it automatically fills it out with your credit card. Turn it off because that can just cause trouble. You know, if you if you're not if you're not too sure how to use credit card, I do have a video about that, but these autofill options actually just take you in the vicious circle of credit card and you honestly don't want to go there. So that's another saving, uh, money saving tip is to, to just get rid of the autofill and only spend what you have and only for that what you actually need. This is going to be just a very short video because I already had another video about this. I might do some more, but I would like to finish off with this. If you did so many money saving techniques and you still find that you don't have enough money for, for what you need, then you need to think about uh, getting multiple incomes. You need to think about increasing your income apps as well. There are so many videos. Um, I have some videos as well about how to earn more. Try to educate yourself develop new skills that could bring you more money and then you will find that obviously you're going to have more disposable income you're going to have more money that you can save just because you increase your income that's my last money saving tip and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have make sure you subscribe and also click on the bell icon and give me a thumbs up and share the video see you next time bye